This week, we celebrate the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi. St. Francis is probably one of the best known saints for his love of animals, his love of the environment. But more importantly, I think, than love of animals, we have to remember Francis as a radical disciple of Jesus. Francis turned his back on a life of prestige, power, and wealth, and embraced a radical simplicity and a radical discipleship that really lives out the gospel message. And though Francis is remembered for many things, Probably the thing I remember most for is the line he once said to St. Anthony of Padua, preach the gospel always and everywhere, and when necessary, use words. St. Francis realized back in the Middle Ages the importance of example, that words only say so much, but the example of one's life really preaches the gospel of Christ. And my friends, even though St. Francis lived 800 years ago, those words still ring true. Does our example preach the gospel? We might say nice words in church, we might put pious thoughts on Facebook, but yet our example of living proclaims a vastly different message than what we say in church. As we celebrate this Feast of St. Francis, let us be inspired to be those type of radical examples of discipleship that he was. I think it's safe to say the reason Francis has been remembered for so many centuries is not because he loved animals or not because he founded a religious community, but because of the radical example he lived of following Jesus that touched people, that affected people, that changed people. That's what it means to follow Christ. As we celebrate St. Francis' feast day, may we be inspired to do the same in our day and our age as well. Not a sermon or a homily, but just something for all of us to think about.